So what I was trying to say in my in the part one of this video is that there's no how you continue to use something without cleaning up without cleaning it up for a very long time. So that's the root cause of high blood pressure. So now that the veins through which these stuffs are passing through now that they are dating. As a sane person, what should you do? Is it not to cleanse or to get to the root of the problem to know what actually is dating this stuff and to clean it from there? For instance, fat or cholesterol can actually dirty your veins and they will actually narrow them, making them making it impossible for the free flow of blood. But unfortunately, the drugs we have today, the conventional drugs, what the drug does is to slow down the uh, tap from pumping too much uh, water. You understand? You understand? Instead of cleansing the stuff that is dirty, they'll just slow down the tap and it will not be pumping small, small. The pressure will be small, but the damage is being done on a daily basis. Like the fat deposits will continue to be deposited, then they continue to lower the flow of blood, continue to lower it until at a point, the whole of those uh, fat particles will now block the pipe entirely, to block it totally, and the person will now have heart attack and die. You understand? So now, you don't want to fall victim of this kind of scenario that you still die after taking high blood pressure. It is good that as you are taking high blood pressure medications, you look for a way to reduce your fat. Like you slim down, you look for a way to reduce the cholesterol in your body that is actually dating your um, the pipeline in the first place. So with that, you be able to you will not die as a result of heart attack again because. The whole thing that is blocking the airflow, you have succeeded in um, in removing them from the way. So that's why it is good that as you are keep as you are taking your high BP medication, try to slim down. Even if you are not fat, still try to slim down because some people are not fat physically, but internally they have a lot of cholesterol in their hearts and i'll suggest that for you to reduce your cholesterol level you can start by using onions you can chew onions you can raw onions you can chew it like two three times in a week this will go a long way in helping you to reduce your cholesterol eating of vegetables too is very very good for you to help to reduce the 